All right, another New England Patriots 2024 NFL draft target. Today we are talking about USC's Brendan Rice. And yes, he is the son of the iconic NFL figure Jerry Rice. So Brendan stands out as one of the most compelling prospects in the upcoming 2024 NFL draft. Yet, he is somehow one of the more underrated players in the entire draft. At 6'3", 205, Brendan is a prototypical player with incredible physical prowess. He has hit 23 miles per hour on the GPS and an exceptional 1.43 second 10 yard split on his 40, which would translate to a 4-3. What is more, this offseason, Rice reportedly vertical jumped 38 inches and did 17 reps on the 225 bench and squatted 525 for 3 reps. The guy is a physical specimen. Now Rice's collegiate journey began back in Colorado where he showcased his talents with 27 receptions for 419 yards and 5 touchdowns across his initial 17 games. He was also renowned for his electric kick return abilities where he averaged an impressive 26.6 yards per return on 19 attempts. In 2022, he transferred to USC where he had 39 catches, 611 yards, and 4 touchdowns. Now this season, Rice finished up with 45 receptions, 791 yards, and 12 TDs. So solid growth over these years. Now when watching Rice's tape, you could see his impressive length to maximize his catch radius. Guy has long arms just like his dad. Brendan displays enhanced suddenness and quickness off the line of scrimmage, a unique trait for a taller receiver. He kind of plays like a quick sudden receiver at 6'3". He has exceptional body control near the sideline, which enables him to execute acrobatic catches. Rice also demonstrates consistent hands, snatching the ball out of the air with confidence. Now, Rice's effective top speed makes him a dual threat as both as a deep receiver and a playmaker after the catch. And perhaps his most underrated talent is blocking. Brendan is willing and capable of contributing. Now, the risks. Despite being, despite being listed at 205, Rice is kind of relatively thin-framed. Like just like his dad, which creates challenges with physicality of the catch point, hindering his ability to secure contested catches. Again, something that his dad wasn't amazing at, so I'm not surprised. And he tends to dance too much off the line of scrimmage on his releases, delaying the initiation of his routes. Indeed, I am nitpicking here, but it's something he does need to work on if he's going to be a dominant receiver. Now, why would the Patriots target him? Well, just about everyone knows the Patriots need help on the offensive side of the ball, and the wide receivers had a rough go this year with injuries and the lack of a true Alpha 1 wide receiver to dictate coverage from a variety of alignments. Brendan could be the perfect wide receiver for the Patriots thanks to his physical attributes, receiving skills, blocking prowess, and kick return ability. Now, the big potential for them is for him to develop into an Alpha 1 wide receiver and his unique combination of height and foot speed could allow him to become that type of NFL caliber playmaker. Rice's proficiency in creating opportunities after the catch, coupled with his body control, makes him an adaptable both on the outside and in the slot. Plus, he's a natural improviser and a refined route technician. Honestly, all I think he needs to work on is hanging in there on contact on routes and winning contested jump balls to become a dominant receiver. Again, the Patriots are probably looking for a more dynamic receiver this season who can play multiple alignments and can block. We already have several niche players with Parker's contested catch, Juju as the possession, Pop as that quick sun receiver, and Thornton as the burner. We are just missing that guy that can kind of just do everything, but still has at least one physical edge on whoever's covering him. And a reminder, he's a solid blocker and has special teams experience. Two pluses for the Patriots. Now, when would the Patriots target him? I have been bullish on Brendan since before the start of the college season, and he hasn't disappointed. However, it appears journalists and the media are starting to notice his abilities, and his draft grade went up from a basically like a mid-day three entering the season to possibly a top 50. Now, some of that just might be media hype because of his dad, but once he gets on the field for the Combine in Detroit, he is going to explode up the media's boards. Honestly, I think Rice's explosive traits and size make him a prospect worthy of drafting and developing for almost any team. So I'm sure he's already 
probably a top 10 receiver on most GM's boards already just because of his versatility and physical prowess. So I think the Patriots might have to target him in the second or third round, depending on their approach and how the board is starting to develop. Getting him in the third would allow the Patriots to go after a QB and an offensive tackle in the first and second, which would probably be the best case scenario. And Brendan would still allow them to get that versatile receiver who might ultimately develop into an alpha one wide receiver. He is definitely someone to keep an eye on as we move closer to the draft. Anyway, what do you guys think about Brendan? Do you think the Patriots should target him? When should they target him? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.